Um, a lot of times we use the word tolerance, and I have said to a lot of students, and we've talked about it, we're, we're not here to tolerate each other. We're here to accept each other. And that's really, ugh, gets me teary-eyed. What's special about this is it is produced by our National Junior Honor Society. So our National Junior Honor Society members got together and said, well, what can be our next service project? And that was right around the uh, time of Black History Month and they started talking about that. And that's when they decided, well, let's have a celebration of all the cultures that we see throughout our school, throughout our military connected community, outside the gates, and also all over the United States. Originally Multicultural Night, since it, February being the month of Black History Month, it was supposed to be an um, event for Black History Month, but then realized we were in Japan and being here on this base, there's so many integrated cultures, and the biggest thing now, they used to talk about um, segregation, and but now it's everything's integrated, so we wanted to integrate all the other cultures into our Multicultural Night. So that's the wonderful thing about tonight, is that it is a child, student-driven project. And it started off little, and then they would have another brilliant idea, and it would grow and mushroom and get bigger and bigger. Um, the Military Connected Child, many of them have traveled the world, so they know diversity from that. But some of them haven't. We have some students that this is their first overseas experience. And just walking in the front door of Yokosuka Base and then walking in Yokosuka Middle School, they automatically many times see a diverse population more than they might see where they were before. Um, it's hard leaving friends and family, but I appreciate it because a lot of these things so many people never get to see. A lot of people don't even get to ever leave the U.S., so I'm just very blessed and honored to be able to have that privilege. And even though tonight was driven and developed and organized by the National Juniors Honor Society, any student could participate in it. And, and that has happened across the sixth through eighth graders that are participating tonight. Um, the main thing I want the students getting out of it, and they have and even grown in that, is the diversity in our community. And once again, to celebrate that diversity.